Hi everyone, welcome to another Trappy Trap. Um, this is against the Dutch defence and a way in which White can try and take advantage of Black's move f5 weakening the um, king side and the um, diagonal leading up to the king, e8 to h5. Um, and one of the main reasons why I like to play um, e6 before f5 when playing the Dutch is Black because after f5 we get h3 which is also another cautionary gambit so cautionary has invented two um, Decent gambits, although this one I think is not that great because you can decline it with a good position after knight f6, g4. If you get black in this position, the best move is to um, decline it with d5. But um, if you accept it, opening up the h file after queen d3, you have to be very careful. And the best move is g6. Um, um, if you play knight f6, which is a natural move, um, retreating the knight from any danger and um, protecting h7, um, what would you play in this posi position if you had white pieces? Well, this is in fact loses a rook or the king because now white plays rook takes h7. And both the recaptures of the rook, knight or rook, involve a mating one with the queen. Very beautiful. And of course, um, if the mate is dealt with, then black loses the rook on h8. So black can't simultaneously save his rook and his king. So white wins. You know, after um, g6, the best move. There is actually an interesting line where white actually just plays it anyway. Of course, it, of course, it's not mate now because the rook can block. But if queen takes g4, white is a dangerous initiative and a pawn for the exchange. With queen h5, knight f3 to g5 coming, and I've. A friend of mine has done some good analysis on this actually, but I'm not sure if he's still got it. Might be a video of it, a video of it on my old channel actually. But yeah, this is um, a trap in the Dutch and a reason why anti-Dutch is a dangerous if you can't um, deal with them. But I hope you enjoyed this um, video and please leave any comments and thoughts. Thanks very much.